Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson five today where we're going to be dividing terms with the same base, very similar to multiplying, but uh, subtracting instead of adding. And one additional rule, we are never ever going to allow a negative exponent to stay in our answer. Negative exponents are illegal in our answers. I will show you. Let's go to the first problem. A better way than with an example. We have 7 to the power of 3 divided by 7. And when there's nothing there, it's to the power of 1. So when the bases are the same, 7 and 7 are the same, they're the bases, and, you multi and you're dividing them by each other, you're going to subtract the exponents. Uh, when we were multiplying them, we added the exponents. So now when we're dividing them, we subtract. 3 minus 1 is 2, so this is 7 to the power of 2. And again, we don't have to solve. We could, but we just have to simplify as these are going to sometimes be a little bit complicated. Let's slide to the right and do 32, number 32. So this is 7 over 7 to the power of 4. Again, this is to the power of 1 if there's nothing there. So in this case, we are doing 1 minus 4. And 1 minus 4, we're going across the 0. We're becoming negative. Uh, so that is 7 to the power of negative 3. But as I just mentioned, negatives are illegal in our final answers. So this becomes on the bottom when we want to make it positive. So we do 1 over 7 to the power of 3. Okay. Our negative exponents less than a couple of go. We take the whole thing, we put it on the bottom of a fraction, and that makes it positive, and it makes it okay. We are allowed to have positives in our answer, but no negatives in our exponents. Let's do the next one. 6 to the power of 2 divided by 6 to the power of 4. 2 minus 4 is minus 2, so this is 6 to the power of minus 2. We don't like that, so we put the whole thing on the bottom of a fraction to make the exponent positive. And that's 6 to the power of 2. Let's do the next one. 4 to the power of 2 over 4 to the power of 0. We know that 4 to the power of 0 is just 1. Like this whole thing we obviously know is just 1. Uh, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So when we subtract, we expect it to be the same, like 2 minus 0 is 2. And this divided by 1 is going to be the same anyway. So this answer is just 4 squared. You can pause and do these next ones on your own, uh, or you can follow along with me, whatever you like. But check back to see if you got the right answer. Uh, we're going to do another one here. I'll just put a little line. 4 to the power of 3 over 4 to the power of 4. The top one minus the bottom one, so 3 minus 4 is minus 1, so 4 to the power of minus 1, but we don't like negatives, so that's 1 over 4, right? Uh, we don't have to have a negative, we don't have to have a 1 when it's just um, by itself, so 1 over 4. Next question, 5 divided by 5 oh, to the power of 2, so that's 1 minus 2. That is 5 to the power of negative 1, which is the same as 1 fifth. Two more problems. Two more problems. Next one is 8 to the power of 4 divided by 8 to the power of 2. 4 minus 2, because they have the same base, we are going to subtract the exponents. So uh, 4 minus 2 is 2. So this is 8 to the power of 2. It's all positive exponents, so that's OK. And the last one, 7 to the power of 4 over 7 to the power of 3. 4 minus 3 is 1, so we just have 7. All right, just 7 for our answer. If you guys have questions about this, please let me know. It combines quite a bit of the knowledge that we've used so far with the negative exponents. Um, but thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon.